with that teasing out of the cotton and then at the bottom the flywheel at the bottom of the machine spinning round and that puts the twist in it so the rollers draft or tease out the cotton and the flywheel spinning around above the bobbin puts the twist in it and it's fed onto the bobbin. It's a very simple process but this machine was very successful and Nina might be able to just demonstrate this is just a small version of Arkwright's machine. Same rollers. The big factory when it was made would have 32 of all that machines this side of the wheel that was powering the machine on. Another 32 of that side. Many, many, many machines. This is only one. Right, let's see if I can. Get it going. I am. Can you see it moving now? Can you see the wheels moving? And it's twisting the cotton when it gets down to the flywheel. Can you see? Stand up and have a look if you like. Go to the the back there. I'm doing it better today than I did the other day. <laughs> See, this is the this is the fragile cotton behind called roving. It's very fragile, but it's brought through three sets of two rollers. One roller flattens it out, and the others are all going to increase in speed. And what they're doing, they're stretching the cotton out wider, longer and longer, but not too much, otherwise it just breaks. And just at the right time, as the cotton comes out of here. These flywheels are turning round and they're putting the twist in. So it's teased out, teased out, quickly twisted. Just one process.